YouTube, YouTube, man. You know what? I'm not even gonna do all that, bro. So I know what y'all here, bro. Y'all want y'all. It's a 2K23 wish list. We'll make 2K23 good. You feel me? Duh. I got my monitor right here. I got double monitor. You feel me? I'm gonna have gameplay in the background, all that. But this is what will make 2K23 good. Let's get right into it. All right. Well, before the video even starts, leave a like. So the video could get out there to the you know feel me 2K devs might see it. I doubt it, but you feel me. But um. There's a lot of things I gotta say. First thing first, we're gonna start with the gameplay. Gameplay on 2K22 wasn't that bad, to be honest with you. To be honest, it wasn't that bad. There was a few things, though. Don't leave the video. Don't dislike the video. Just say there was a few things. First thing first, interior defense. Interior defense was completely horrible. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. This was probably one of the worst interior defensive games I've ever played besides, like, 21 Next Gen. So, that alone should tell you that's not good. Because 21 Next Gen was the worst game I actually like 21 next gen more than 21 current gen, but I'm not even gonna get into all that, you feel me? But both those games was complete dog water, doo-doo. And 22 just was boring, bro. I'm not gonna lie, just recorded this right now, I feel like I got a yawn, you know what I'm saying? So, gameplay is a big issue. Dribbling is actually pretty decent. Shooting is actually okay, but whites have to stop going in as consistent. I understand if one wider game goes, goes in, whatever, or make like a specific game mode to where whites literally never go in or something, because this is just not it, bro. It's not it. Make a new something. I just know that when whites go in and stuff like that, it takes skill gap out the game, and people like skill gap in the game. Definitely in a game like basketball, so I want to be better than somebody. It makes sense. So I understand why they be like, bro, all these whites going in is annoying. Because it is. I bought so many games off that. Well, I just be like, man, you know what? I'm done with it. So I'm going to be on here like that no more. I'm not going to lie. Now, with the gameplay, like I said, I already got to the interior, interior defense. Got with the shooting. Everything else is honestly pretty okay. Dribbling and everything like that, like I said, is pretty nice. Um, another small little thing besides the uh, gameplay is rewards and system. Prep system. So look, the rep system on this game is bad, but it's good at the same time. So this is why I say it's good because it gives you new things every single month or every other month to where it feels refreshing. But the level system being the primary rep system is what makes it bad. If they had the rep the rep race like Legend, uh, you know, Elite, all of that, and they also had the levels. It'd be fire. So now you have more reward throughout all of them. And then you'll be able to do what you, you feel me? You'll be able to play the game. There's still this slight exclusive, exclusive, what? You know what? I'm not going to say the word. Slight exclusive content for people that play those specific months. Now let's say uh, that bunny suit. You no, know, bunny suit as a, you like, man, he love 40 for the bunny suit. Let's say somebody do like the bunny suit. And let's say somebody don't like it with the rep system it doesn't matter because with reps and somebody don't like the bunny suit they playing the game to hit legend anyway so they're gonna play the game to hit legend anyway where the bunny suit literally doesn't affect them win-win you know what i'm saying and uh like i said with the rep that's really about it for the rep system everything else is pretty decent when it comes to the rep system they also need to take any arm sleeves out but why am i grinding to get an arm sleeve i could go buy a walmart for like 15 dollars bro like come on bro that's that's l rewards bro we just to make some off the wall stuff bro like even something as light as like having a halo over my head when i hoop or something it's cool like why not this is a, it's like a why not type of thing but besides that the rep system is actually pretty decent so there's not much to say right there uh now to appearances and aesthetics of the game so first thing first the city i'm not gonna lie L take. They're not gonna get rid of it, Sally. They're not gonna get rid of it. But the city is pretty trash. And this is why I say the city is pretty trash. So if you look at the city, it's huge. It's humongous. Yes, you tell okay, I don't know why I keep doing this, but you teleport. You teleport, you spawn in where you need to be at, right? Okay, cool. Spawning in at the park and everything is cool. There's, you always have games running on next gen at least. Current gen people say everybody run away, so I don't play that. But next gen, you always have games. I'm not going to lie to you. Even when you're on a high win streak, people still pull up on you. But that's one problem. The, the, to buy clothes, I got to hop off, go 200 miles. I got to go from Georgia to Florida just to buy some clothes, which isn't good. And then when I go there, a short car is 15,000 VC. Why is the price so high? I understand they got sponsors. They got this, that, and the third. But it should not cost that much. So now... 
folks is basically out the question for a lot of people. Cause like, okay, you gotta upgrade your bill. You have to spend fifty dollars. So I'm gonna talk about that later, actually. But you gotta spend money to upgrade your build, or just grind countless hours to where and it's not even fun because you can't do anything because you're overall to where you don't even want to play the game. And then, like I said, the clothes cost about five million VC, so it's almost impossible to buy any regular outfit. And then they delete your shoes, custom shoes you make, whenever some BS happens on the game. So it's just, it's just a lot with the aesthetic. Now, my favorite part, micro transactions. So look, to me, that, that's what really hurts 2K the most. You have to spend $70 on this game, $60 for current and $70 for next gen. So 60 to $70. And you have to spend another $50 just to be at 85 overall. Tell me I have to spend $50 to get another 85 overall. So let's say I spend $70 on the game, $50 on, on the other part. That's $120 on the game alone. Just so I can actually play it. And you know, for current, it'll be $110, which is still absurd. With a hundred dollar version, it's even worth buying because you only get like a hundred KVC. Then you still spend the 20, 30 dollars to get your build up. So you might as well not play. So microtransactions, they need to bring it back to how it was. Will they? Of course they won't nine times out of 10 because they have no competition. But before on 2K, let's say 15 or 16, it costs $20 to make your build max. And you will honestly able to play the game and when, in one day, you would be right there. 75 KVC would get you just right. So in a week, you'll be able to play, you'll be able to go out there and play some parts. So it's like, I don't know why they don't do that. And I feel like with that, more people will spend money because they'll make more bills. You know how many people be like, I can make another bill, $20. I can make another bill, $20. You know, I can make another bill, $20. But of course, it'll accumulate to that 120 But at least if I'm doing that, I spend $20 for it. As I spend $100, now I got five bills that I can all play with easily instead of $100, one bill, and I'm done. I don't even want to touch it anymore. You know what I'm saying? But... But that's a consumer thing and as a business honestly they got to make their money so they're going to do what they have to do and if people's doing it they're going to continue to do it my team my team itself i haven't heard any issues i don't play my team so i won't speak on y'all side but my team seem to be going really good so i'll say my team keep doing their thing uh if they do bring the level system back they have to get rid of my team rewards in the part that's horrible or uh, no not not even or that's horrible my team rewards should be in my team part rewards should be in park it's that simple but that's honestly all I have to say. Let me know down below what you would do to make 2K23 better, like separate parks, a uh, one park, uh, less twos court, less threes courts. Let me know uh, more stays, like maybe add a, a higher high roller or something like that. Just let me know. But honestly, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed a small little rant. You feel me? Going on to eight minutes, literally just now. Gonna add a little background music or some. Have the gameplay in the back. Probably gonna loop it. But. That's it. I'm out deuces. And if you do enjoy 2K22 content, check out the end screen right here. It's going to get you right.